Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make a short video on two techniques to install a decal on a piece of heavy equipment and or a tractor. I've just completed this installation. This decal was installed using soapy water and a squeegee, whereas this one over here was put on dry. Total time is about 10 minutes. Um, I've got two new decals. We're going to go around to the other side of the machine and start the installation. The two methods I'm going to use to install these decals are referred to the dry method and the soapy method. At least those are my terms. This smaller decal on the front of the machine will be installed using no soap and water, just removing the backing plate and sticking it down using a squeegee to smooth it out. There are, however, a couple of important things to remember. Key to installing any decal and making it last on your machine is to have a clean surface before you start. Now, before I put these down to tack them into position, I cleaned the metal with rubbing alcohol. That is what our manufacturer recommends. That will remove any uh, um, dirt, grime, and uh, most important, um, old or loose paint that's on the surface. If you have a good backing, these decals will last a minimum of five years without peeling, and I've seen them go for 10 or 20 years. In the first phase of the installation, after I've cleaned it, I placed the decal where I wanted it, I taped it down and stood back and made sure it looked the way I expect it to look from a distance. Then what you do is take a pencil, not a marking pen, nothing heavy, a light pencil and mark the corners of the decal. So when you remove the plate from the front, you know where to position it. So right now I'm going to remove the decal, remove the tape I used to position it, I'm going to remove the backing plate as slowly and carefully as possible. Making sure not to let it wrinkle, make sure it's not in a dusty area, and carefully remembering your pencil marks, keeping your fingers in the corner of the decal, position just the top corners, not the bottom or the middle, stretch it out a little bit, then I like to take my thumb and run it across the top like this. And when you're sure you're in position, take your squeegee, start at the top and go down the center. This is to remove any bubbles or to ensure there are no bubbles under your decal. And using the squeegee carefully, work your way out to the edges. Once you have this done, I like to take my hand and run it over the decal and feel for any bumps or imperfections, things you may be able to fix now where you're not going to be able to fix in a week. Okay, once I'm satisfied that there aren't any bubbles under this thing, start at two corners. It really doesn't matter which two, but you want to pull in the same direction at a low angle and very slowly. Now because this decal is so small, chances of large air bubbles was pretty small. That's why I did not opt to use the soapy water underneath. But I'll be showing you that here in a moment. And there are different methods for doing this. This is the one that's always worked for me. Now later when this dries and they recommend 24 hours, I'll come back with soap and water, clean up the pencil marks, and uh, that should be good. This decal should be on here for a minimum of five years. The technique for installing the slightly larger decals is different in a few ways. The most important is we're gonna be using some soapy water 
We're going to be spraying it on the machine before we install the decal. This allows you to remove any air bubbles or wrinkles easier than if you installed it without. You can do it either way. This way is better for large decals. So now all we're using is soapy water. It's basically dish, dish detergent mixed with tap water. It doesn't necessarily have to be running off the machine, but you do need to get the entire area wet. All right, remove any excess tape, and then I will slowly begin to remove the backing. And this again can be a little tricky, so take your time. I don't recommend you do it out in the wind like we're doing it. Inside of a garage would probably be a little easier for you. And four hands are essential for this. We'll carefully position this. Come my way a little bit, a little bit. All right, hold your hand up where the line was going to be. Okay. Don't, don't pull too hard. The water will allow it to slip. I'm going to do the top and the bottom. Holding it with one hand. I guess I will use my squeegee. Very carefully work the water out from underneath and the air bubbles as you go. Give yourself enough time. And now, we'll see how well we did. Whoops. Very slowly. All the while using the squeegee. thing left to do is go over each piece again one last time getting all the water out from behind it and the air bubbles. The manufacturer recommends you let the decals dry for at least 24 hours before you attempt to put any water on it so leave your marks in place overnight you can come back tomorrow with a rag and a little soap and take care of those and there you have it. That should be good for at least five years, according to the manufacturer. And this was not a new paint job. I painted this with a brush last year. All we really did is clean it off well before we installed the decal. If you're interested in aftermarket decal sets for machines like this, or for agricultural parts, please visit our website, reliableaftermarketparts.com. Um, and also, if you need to comment or would like information, uh, feel free to visit our blog, which has a link from our website, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you very much.